So good morning everyone and welcome to the channel. Looking a little bit bleary eyed today because we were up late chatting. Uh, I've got Dave next to me. Good morning. I won't hold it, he's ex-fleet air arm, we won't, we won't hold that against him. <laughs> Senior service. Senior service and all that. Um, so as you can see, you probably just see without the sunlight, there's loads of aircraft that actually arrived on Friday evening. We had a great time. You you went off site for a... Yeah, I had a brilliant time in the um, in the clubhouse to start off with chatting with fellow um, Flexwing pilots. Yeah. Um, really good to meet some new friends. Yeah. Um, and then off, off for a curry in the local area. Yeah. And then back for a day's worth of entertainment today. <laughs> um, the trade stands are all being set up around behind us at the moment and as I say basically just wanted to give you a bit of a flavour of what the morning or the first morning of this uh, this Flexwing Renaissance. Are you looking forward to it? I am looking forward to it very much and looking yeah. forward to catching up with some old friends as yeah. well. So we've got Brian Milton, we've got yep. Andy Oliver um, speaking, we've got Ben Ashman speaking and unfortunately I'm going to be chairing one of the sub 70 <laughs> chats so uh, hopefully that doesn't go downhill too quickly. Yeah I'm sure we'll have all flown home by then. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday morning, I'm going Sunday yeah. morning. But uh, anyway, just a quick intro, so hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of the video and I'll give you a flavour of what's gone on this Flexwing Renaissance here at Darlingmore Airfield. So we are here at the Flexwing Renaissance. It is only about 10 o'clock in the morning. Aircraft are flooding in in seamless fashion because of PPR here at Darnley Moor. And we have me again. Hello, Giles. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob Hughes. I'm the chief exec of the BMAA. We're in the BMAA trailer wondering where to stand. I decided we were going to stand here. It's, it's hot today, isn't it? Already. It's, uh, what is it? Half past nine in the morning. It yeah. must be 25 degrees centigrade. Yeah. And we've already got about 20 flex wing on the ground and we're expecting probably 150 mark thinks this morning. Yeah. What an amazing event to, to concentrate on flex wings at a time when permit flex wing flying is decreasing, but flex wing flying overall in this country is growing massively thanks to SSDR and sub 70 kilo. To come here and celebrate everything that's so good about flex wings is just brilliant. When Mark came to me and said, would I like to come along and help support this event? Absolutely. This used to be the majority flying of the BMAA. It's now slightly tipped over that three axis is the majority flying, but we still have hundreds and hundreds of pilots who fly flex wings and for a really good reason. We enjoy it, don't we? All the flex wing flyers on the channel, give us a thumbs up for that one, at least, if nothing else. Hopefully we've got some talks throughout the day, haven't we? We've got Brian Milton, um, Andy Oliver and Ben Ashman and we're going to do a sub 70 Q&A as well so it's going to be a full weekend of discussions and, and hopefully have more Flexwing or future Flexwing pilots. We've got pilots come from Scotland and we've got people drive up from Cornwall to we be had at this a, event. We had a guy called Graham left at three o'clock this morning in his car to get here because it's going to clag in Cornwall yeah. tomorrow yeah. just to be here. This is the place to be this weekend. It is. It's lovely. Light winds, hot weather, sunshine, best place to be. And a load of Flexwing pilots. <laughs> And there they all are out there. So anyway, Rob, thank you very much and I'll leave you to the rest of the day. Have a brilliant weekend. Cheers. So if you've got this part of the video, this is actually all the work that we've been doing prior to this event. And even Mark is still working hard, aren't you? Hello, yes. <laughs> How many hours have we put in already? What day is it? I don't know what day it is. I think it's the day before whatever day is meant to be. Yes, so yeah, it's been a very busy few weeks. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Good fun though, looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to Sunday, but yeah, yeah. The response has been fantastic, so. Yeah, we reckon about 200 aircraft plus. Maybe it could be potentially manic. 
the uh, largest gathering of flex winged aircraft in the UK for quite some considerable time. So uh, yeah. that in itself is quite a scary thought. Well, that's preemptive. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. Watch this space. What? So hi everyone, a little bit of an interlude in the video. As you've probably seen, there are hundreds of aircraft here, lots of flex, flex wings, and it wouldn't be a flex wing event without your good self, Brian. So what does this event mean to you with the amount of aircraft that are here? Coming back here, I haven't been to a meet for quite some time now. It, it really is essentially a man's world. There are women in it, and there are some brilliant women in it, including Judy Ledden, who's possibly the best pilot, never mind the best Michael Light or Hang Glider pilot. But, you know, seeing this here, um, it just takes me back and reminds me, really, of all the immense life that you get out of flying in a, a flexoring machine. Yes. You know, it's, it's a bit like an aerial motorbike. Uh, you <laughs> Very know, much it, so. It uh, applies to, you know, it, it appeals to people like that. Um, and uh, you know, just getting up, breaking contact with the earth and going up. Uh, in one of these things is a real charge. It often frightens journalists. I remember taking journalists flying and they landed and they reported about it. It was as if they had fought in the Battle of Britain and they'd landed safely and so yeah. they'd won it. But uh, it's terrific to go and see this. Brilliant. So if, if those that don't know about Brian's story, I will leave a link in the description and a card in the top corner where to read his book. It's an amazing read, so go and have a look at it. You're actually doing a talk later today, which I will be sitting on, and hopefully I'll give you a flavour of that talk as well. Well, it's a two-hour film, four half-hour programmes from National Geographic Television. But, I mean, the books that I've got here, I had a go at the Atlantic. I failed in the end uh, in a flex swing, but it's quite an adventure. And it was impossible just... I had just too many people against me. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time well, and hopefully you enjoy the rest of the day. Me too. Thank, thank you very much. What's that? Why have you got a high vision? Because I've been marshalling aircraft today. Yeah, well you can marshal it. Look, you can take it off now. You drive. see? Look, look, clear. No high vis. No bright colours. <laughs> you brought a swarm of PBs, have you? We have indeed. I just have to see the Very important third point I want, I want to make and one of the drivers behind this idea is to see um, the flight around the world. And I want to give a small taster of it now. This was a trailer that was actually done to advertise to people who are inside uh, uh, television companies about this particular adventure. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you a small burst of uh, something to do with my involvement in flying. <laughs> So I finally tracked down a gentleman. We met at Popham about two years ago? Two, yeah, it was two ago. About two years ago. Yeah. So those that don't know his channel, Centre of Gravity, we've got Graham here. I'm back. And he's back, he's back. And this is a bit of a plug for his channel. If you haven't found it, go and look for Centre of Gravity. I'll put a card up here. But you are back now flying. Your aircraft is back up here. My, back up and flying after a little bit of an incident, which you will have seen on Mike's channel um, a few months ago. But yeah, my plane's now back up and going. How was your flight down on Friday? You did two and a half hours, didn't you? Two and a half hours down from East Fortune and it was just amazing. So I didn't really have any major issues coming down and yeah. landed here 
pretty smoothly, apart from a little <laughs> bit of a bump. We, we, we didn't notice anything when you landed. <laughs> you did. It, it was a shocking crosswind on that evening. So, and if you haven't, if it's not 90 degrees, it's not a crosswind at Darling Moor. No. So, uh, <laughs> um, but it was just so great to catch up with Graham after Popham, and, and uh, it's great to, to hear that your channel's going to be back up with yep. new content in the yep. future. So, yeah. Center of Gravity is being relaunched with uh, a new plane. A new plane. Um, and uh, a slightly more unusual content which I'm planning at the moment so look out for that it'll be coming in probably the next few weeks slash one or two months but, but we'll get there <laughs> well, it depends we'll when this there. video comes out but go and have a look for his channel you've got Very some true. amazing content there as well yes. so anyway Graham thanks for coming it's thanks great to meet you again yeah. So I finally tracked down Andy Oliver um, and we're, we're taking shade under, under his wing. He's all packed as the adventurer that you are. Um, and the Flexwing Renaissance here at Darley Moor. Your thoughts please Andy, because basically the, the Flexwing Adventures is part of your genesis. How's this weekend gone for you? Uh, let's take it in two parts. First of all, this event here. Yeah. Any, can anybody remember when we had 90 80 flex wing aircraft gathered together under this type of sun with uh, seven, eight, you know, suppliers and 80 pilots coming together. And I think, and, and, and then the stunning support and, and heavy lifting that Darley Moore have done. I think, I think it's been an absolutely brilliant event. And if the flex wing adventurers are, are <laughs> going to be doing anything, you know, we should encourage and we should take, take the lead on on an annual flex wing flyers event and i hope it i hope it will become uh, you know the, the event if, yeah. it, if we out spam spam field that's <laughs> terrific <laughs> this isn't a competition spam field but say so we'll give it a damn good go damn good go so what's your thoughts on on how it's been presented and the the, the elements because I, I we've listened into brian milton's presentations yeah. and all the other speakers yeah both young new from both spectrums really we've had the, yeah. the young inexperienced flyers through to the, the guys that have flown around the world we were chatting off camera and basically you were, you were saying about that there's, there's a mentorship program that yeah. you want to try and get yeah. across do you want to cover a little yeah bit? yeah ab absolutely and i think this is where we'll make a difference there are, and there's some underlying themes here one is and and um rob hughes was really interesting on the graphs he showed in his talk and yeah. and and the way that your love the sub 70 in the sdcr i mean how many 250 aircraft or something in the last year the sub 70 sector has absolutely proved its value and its demand and there's a group of pilots coming in and we heard um from other pilots mm. who um you know started on that and then when they were ready for it, they thought I want a bit more range, I want a bit yeah. more capability, and they moved up. Trevely's presentation. Trevely, yeah. people yeah. like that. And uh, in the course of two or three years, and he's now planning to go to Norway yeah. next year. And uh, so if we pursue on, on people like Tre Trevely and there are many others, and indeed we've now got, we've probably got about 30 or 40 people of that nature who, who joined the Flexwing Adventurers when we, when we launch in September. There's a great pool of expertise you know the Ed McCallums and the and the Martin Mosleys who've done that type of trip and, and the little things that I've done and various other uh, flyers. So we want to pro provide a club and association where that experience can be pooled and you can find somebody to talk to. We'll have our own private annual yep. trout flex flying, um, and we'll also and I think this is the this is the, the real effect it, it it'll have. There will they're already forming. Um, a couple of experienced pilots with some really keen low hours pilots who are beginning to plan you know more beyond the ordinary yeah. type thing and by beyond the ordinary i mean just a long weekend away yeah. you know but, but that's what you're talking about in the mentorship isn't yeah, it yes yes yeah. and and we have to be clear we none of us are instructors <laughs> there's no commercial interest uh, at all on our part we're just sharing our experience to bring more pilots into the sport for the for the the good of those pilots yeah. uh, the satisfaction of those pilots the safety of those pilots uh, and and for 
bringing back up a renaissance. We, you, we, we've been using the term renaissance. And I, d I def definitely feel after three pretty depressing years, yeah. you know, there is a lot of energy and a lot of desire to get back up there, you know, and do wonderful things in these wonderful aircraft. And it doesn't matter what your machine is, does it? It doesn't. I, I fully confess to you, I haven't worked out, you know, how these, what, what the, the lightweight end can do. But I think it's going to settle down into there will be, there'll be a, a for the Flexwing adventurer's point of view, there will be the, the, the database and there will be, there will be um, a two-stroke you know, group who know each other. Mm. And there'll be the regional sub-70 groups and there'll be the, you know, the big long distance over the water crazy guys. <laughs> um, and we'll all know who we are and, and people can move between each group or take the lesson from each group. And we'll have an annual Trout Flex invitational flexwing adventure event every year to pull all this and and I, d I do sense there is such um desire you know there's such enthusiasm there if we can just help that take shape into real you know up into the blue activity um that's just going to be brilliant as you can tell from Andy's enthusiasm, so he's grinning from here, he's, he's already packed and ready to go on his next adventure. And so it's just <laughs> great to see that enthusiasm to take it further. Like you said, three years on, on, the, on the hold and now we're off going places. Yeah, uh, I actually need to put some time in at home. I, I, did, <laughs> I did 12 days, two and a half thousand miles out to Lake Balaton in Hungary and back oh, in, in June. And I really need to, uh, uh, there are signs that I need to actually put, put a few shifts in at home. but. Uh, yeah. Something is September. So, so thank you, Andy, for that. And as like I said, your passion for this and the enthusiasm for for, uh, for encouragement is is is, uh, is is so rewarding for those that have actually come here this weekend. Good. So that pretty much wraps up the video for this. I hope that's given you a flavour of what this event was all about and the enthusiasm. I think it's almost spurred me on to try and see how much I can cram into my PB uh, and go off on my next adventure. I've already alluded I want to go camping in mine, so it might be a multi-day camping trip now with the, with the enthusiasm after this weekend. So we'll leave this video here. Until next time, everybody, fly safe.